Karen Morley, a distinguished actress of classic Hollywood, has left an indelible mark on the hearts of many through her compelling performances. Whether it's a cherished memory associated with her or a particular moment from one of her works that has had a lasting impact, Morley's presence on screen has resonated with audiences over the years. Her contributions to the golden age of cinema are not only a testament to her talent, but also a source of inspiration for those who appreciate the art of storytelling through film. As we reflect on the timeless allure of Karen Morley's career, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic Hollywood actor. Your stories and memories add depth to the legacy she has left behind, creating a collective tapestry of appreciation for a talent that continues to captivate audiences. We would love to hear your anecdotes in the comments below, celebrating the enduring impact of Karen Morley on the world of cinema. Karen Morley, a luminary of the silver screen, etched her indelible mark on the golden era of Hollywood with a career that spanned the tumultuous decades of the 1930s and 1940s. Born Mildred Linton in Ottawa, Iowa, she adopted the stage name Karen Morley, an amalgamation of two family names. While her early life might not have foretold the cinematic heights she would reach, Morley's journey into acting was serendipitous, driven by an innate passion for the arts. Morley's ascent to fame was meteoric, fueled by her distinctive talent and an alluring on-screen presence. Her breakthrough role came in 1931 when she starred alongside Paul Mooney in Scarface, a gritty gangster film that earned critical acclaim for its unflinching portrayal of organized crime. Morley's performance was nothing short of captivating, and it catapulted her into the upper echelons of Hollywood stardom. Beyond her on-screen prowess, Morley was a trailblazer in her own right. In an era dominated by rigid gender norms, she fearlessly confronted societal expectations. Morley was not just an actress, she was an advocate for social justice. A founding member of the Screen Actors Guild, she played a pivotal role in championing the rights of her fellow actors, leaving an enduring legacy that echoes through the corridors of Hollywood to this day. However, Morley's journey was not without its challenges. As the winds of political change swept across the nation in the 1930s, she found herself entangled in the web of the House Un-American Activities Committee. Her principled stance against the committee's probing questions about her political affiliations led to her being blacklisted, a setback that cast a shadow over her career. Undeterred, Morley continued to contribute to the world of theater, showcasing her resilience in the face of adversity. In the latter part of her career, Morley transitioned to television, where she continued to captivate audiences with her talent. While her Hollywood years are often celebrated, her later work on the small screen is a testament to her versatility and enduring commitment to the craft. As the curtain fell on Morley's illustrious career, her impact on the entertainment industry remained palpable. Her life was a tapestry woven with threads of talent, courage, and advocacy. Karen Morley, a name synonymous with both glamour and grit, left an indomitable imprint on the annals of Hollywood history. Karen Morley's foray into politics marked a unique chapter in her life. In 1954, she took a bold step, running as a New York Lieutenant Governor candidate for the American Labor Party. Despite her unsuccessful bid, this venture showcased Morley's commitment to causes beyond the silver screen. Later, in 1953, Morley testified before the Senate committee alongside her second husband, Lloyd Goh, both sharing leftist views. Following this testimony, she starred in only one more film, an independent Western titled Born to the Saddle. The couple then seemingly disappeared from the public eye, with Goh eventually resurfacing in the 60s, while Morley chose a different path. This shift from Hollywood to politics and the subsequent retreat from the film industry adds a layer of intrigue to Karen Morley's life, shedding light on the complexities and challenges she faced beyond the glamorous facade of Tinseltown. Karen Morley's Hollywood journey began with a breakthrough moment in 1931. Legend has it that she secured a prime role after impressing director Clarence Brown during an audition for Greta Garbo's film Inspiration. Her convincing performance set the stage for a career that left an indelible mark on the golden era of Hollywood. While her Hollywood years are well celebrated, Morley's later life took an unexpected turn. In a unique chapter, she delved into politics, running as a New York Lieutenant Governor candidate for the American Labor Party in 1954. Despite an unsuccessful bid, this move highlighted Morley's commitment beyond the silver screen. Later, she testified before the Senate committee alongside her second husband, Lloyd Goh, sharing leftist views. 
This marked a turning point in her career, with Morley starring in only one more film, an independent Western title Born to the Saddle. Subsequently, she retreated from the public eye, choosing a different path from Hollywood. Adding a layer of intrigue in the later part of her life, Morley formed a friendship with producer Todd Baker. However, her Hollywood legacy faced an unusual twist when she was considered for a role in the 23 film duplex, but her grandson inexplicably refused to let her audition. This could have been her fifth collaboration with a member of the Barrymore family, specifically in the role of Mrs. Connolly. The complexities and challenges in Karen Morley's life beyond the glamorous facade of Tinseltown reveal a versatile and resilient personality. From a captivating Hollywood star to a political candidate and an unexpected twist in her later film endeavors, Morley's life is a tapestry woven with unexpected threads. It is a testament to her enduring commitment to causes beyond the silver screen, making her a unique figure in the annals of Hollywood history. Karen Morley, a prominent figure in Hollywood, faced a tumultuous career marked by both triumphs and challenges. Her journey began as a Wampa's baby star in 1931, a testament to her early recognition in the film industry. However, her MGM career encountered setbacks when she married director Charles Vidor, impacting her public image and leading to a decline in significant roles. Despite the hurdles, Morley's commitment to her political beliefs stood out. A lifelong liberal Democrat, she identified as a communist, reflecting a noteworthy aspect of her personal ideology. This affiliation became particularly relevant during her testimony before the Senate Committee in 1953, where she shared leftist views alongside her second husband, Lloyd Goh. Beyond her Hollywood years, Morley delved into politics, running as a New York Lieutenant Governor candidate for the American Labor Party in 1954. This shift highlighted her dedication to causes beyond the silver screen, showcasing a multifaceted aspect of her persona. Despite an unsuccessful bid, her venture into politics marked a significant chapter in her life. In the latter part of her career, Morley faced the challenge of dwindling roles, but demonstrated resilience by starring in an independent Western titled Born to the Saddle. Subsequently, she chose to step away from the public eye, embracing a different path from Hollywood. The complexities in Karen Morley's life, from early stardom to political engagement and a shift away from the film industry, reveal a versatile and resilient personality. Her enduring commitment to various aspects of life beyond the glamorous facade of Tinseltown solidifies her unique position in the annals of Hollywood history. As we bid adieu to this cinematic journey, it's only fitting to pause and let the echoes of Karen Morley's performances resonate within our own narratives. Her indelible mark on the world of entertainment invites us to reflect on the tapestry of characters she effortlessly brought to life, weaving stories that have become threads in the fabric of our own experiences. As you take a moment to ponder the real moments that linger in your memory, consider the profound impact Karen Morley has had on the silver screen. From the subtle nuances of her expressions to the commanding presence she brought to each role, her artistry transcends the boundaries of time, inviting us to traverse the realms of imagination and emotion. This isn't just a farewell, it's an invitation. An invitation to share your cherished recollections, your favorite scenes, the lines that still echo in the corridors of your mind. Let your thoughts flow, a tribute to the cinematic legacy etched by this remarkable actress. Your words, a testament to the enduring connection we all share with the magic of storytelling. As the curtains draw to a close, we express gratitude for the privilege of witnessing Karen Morley's brilliance. Your time and interest in celebrating this cinematic luminary are deeply appreciated. In the vast expanse of entertainment, her legacy remains a timeless testament to the power of art. Thank you for joining us in this reflection and for sharing your thoughts. Until we meet again in the realm of stories and dreams, appreciate the artistry that transcends generations. Farewell, and may the echoes of Karen Morley's performances linger in your heart.